What's going on, fellas? I'm fixing to show y'all the easiest recipe I have found to make your own loaf of bread. And it's super cheap. All it takes is four ingredients. You need uh, all-purpose flour, one and a half cup of water, one teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of yeast, and three cups of flour. And put it in whatever kind of mixing bowl that you got, stir it up, and let it sit for about four to 24 hours, depending on like how warm your house is. Uh, if you keep your house kind of cool, it's gonna be on the longer side that you need to let the dough sit. And uh, if you keep it kind of warm in your house, it'll rise. And then I'm gonna show you what all you need to do to it. But uh, I figured this is something that we could uh, start doing. I guess, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube, but I'm making it uh, for Facebook right now. But uh, we're gonna do like a self-sufficiency type uh, playlist or whatever. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do stuff super cheap and on your own. That way you don't have to depend on any anything, hopefully. Just stock up on ingredients and you can do everything yourself a lot easier you get a lot more fulfillment from doing stuff like that i love doing stuff like that and i'm gonna show you how to do it well y'all uh, check it out it is tough being a baby <laughs> one Three cups of flour. This kind of yeast. We're gonna do half a teaspoon of yeast. One and a half cup of water. We gotta get one teaspoon of salt. You can use whatever kind of salt. I just happen to have sea salt right here. So that's what we're gonna be using today. This is a half a teaspoon. So that's why I done two right there. And get you a something to stir this up with. And if y'all will give me just a second, I'm gonna stir this up. I'm kinda doing this by myself. So I'm going to stir this up and then I'll show you what the dough is looking like. So it looks about like that. Okay, and now we're going to cover it with some saran wrap, but I'm going to give you a little bit of uh, price points on how cheap this is to do. Uh, I got a five pound bag of great value all-purpose flour and I got this bag of flour for two dollars and 34 cents and you can get one thing of yeast which comes with three packs for 71 cents and uh, well that comes out to about three dollars and you can make six loaves of bread with this pack of flour and salt is something everybody's got on hand i didn't have to buy any of that and water and that's it and then you put it together stir it up in a bowl cover it leave it for a couple hours uh, and come back to it and then put it in the oven but i'm gonna cover this and i'm gonna let it rise and then we'll come back and we'll bake it and i'll show you how to do all that all right fellas that has set out for 12 hours this was actually ready to go um around midnight last night i started it by eight so about four hours into it it was ready to go but it's good to go and i'm fixing to stir it up a little bit you can see the air bubbles inside of it that's fine that's what you want so i'm gonna stir it up a little bit and i'm gonna put it in a pan you need to preheat your oven to 450 and you need two bread pans you need one for this to go in, you need a lid, and that lid is gonna help create a crust, and you can use uh, spray, parchment paper, something to keep the bread from sticking.
And that is the finished product. Put your oven on 450 for about 30 minutes. And there you go. You got to have that top up. Uh, that's hot. I'm glad I didn't touch that. Uh, got to have that top pan. That's just a regular old bread pan I got from Walmart. This just happened to be one that my mom gave me like a couple years ago. But anyway, put that on top of it. It'll create this crust and uh let it cool for about 20 minutes before you try to take it out and slice it and uh i'll show you what that looks like too all right here we go moment of truth i'm gonna cut it in half that's just a crust that's that hard one see what you get down here So, I would say that that is the easiest recipe. Mainly because you don't have to knead it and worry about the consistency of it. But, I mean, I seriously stirred that in a bowl, maybe, maybe 30, 45 seconds. And then let it sit, and then, bam, I got bread. I ordered some bread bags off Walmart, so I'm fixing to start to... Uh, making this and uh i'm gonna freeze them uh, i googled it yesterday that you can uh bread it's good in a freezer for about three months so i'm just gonna make like a whole bag, bag of this flour and make as many loaves of bread as i can and just freeze them Cause we go through bread like crazy in my house but uh hope you try this let me know how it works for you and uh yeah there you go have a good day